Hello everyone. Welcome to the Meet Kotlin. I am Vishnu here. So in this video, I am going to explain you about the KVision, and then we are going to switch to the application author. I I am an Android developer and a Kotlin user. You know, Kotlin is widely used for the Android development to write apps for the near about the three million devices running on it. Kotlin has seen huge rise in the popularity. and i can promise you that it will only become more popular in the years to come i don't really have to tell much about this it is a great language created by the jetwins with the support with the like multi platform you know these days frameworks have become an essential part of our web development these standard web development are always rising so does the complexity of the technology needed so i had started looking for the framework for the web development which would help me get the started quickly i come across the multiple frameworks like angular react vue and the kvision after some research i decided to go with the kvision because i because i think kvision is an object oriented framework for the kotlin js it allow you to build modern web apps without any knowledge of the html javascript css so so we don't require uh, to learn any new language or any new framework and the one interesting part is that it is created for the both front end and the back end applications kvision basic design is quite similar to the many non web programming libraries like uh, swing java fx wayne forms flutter using kvision you can build your user interface with the stateful components at the same time it gives you the modern reactive approach to the building user interfaces like react javascript compose where you, where you build your app with the functions of some kind of state use automatic data bindings kvision is an open source web framework created for the kotlin language it allow you to build modern web apps in the kotlin it is very flexible it has full support for the both reactive and imperative programming models it allow you to build application architecture the way you want the way you like very important thing for us developers is it also provide the hot model replacement features in in short we can call like hmr hmr which gives the very fast development cycle it allow you to exchange add remove models while the application running HMR can significantly speed up our development by updating the browser content automatically after the changes made in the source code. It applied the changes in the browser on the fly. Even the small change in the code will refresh the browser. So we don't need to uh, rebuild application, install application like we do in Android. Kvision applications are built with the Gradle. If you are an Android developer, you already know the ab know about the Gradle files. Gradle is responsible for all definitions of the build process. It declare all the required dependencies, configuration file that are required for the our application. Like in Angular, uh, Angular, Angular, Angular developer use the package the package dot js file to the configure the npm package dependencies that are required for the library or application. Kvision has many more features. There is a large list of the features, but in that uh, we will cover some main features. So, uh, Kvision is designed for full stack, and the main advantage of the its rich component. Kvision has sophisticated layer of the containers. There are dedicated form of the container with the types of data model. There are many different input components, including the rich takes, date time figures. advanced charts reactive tables kvision was designed to be open and flexible by default it gives the bootstrap based on look and feel like in uh, html there we have to uh, create basic buttons tags for that we add some extra css but in kvision we not required at the basic level it provides the default uh, styles to the our components it is very easy to write easy right easy to write because i can say we require just only kotlin language to the right 
all UI component, our all code, API calls, uh, any database connections, everything we write using the one language. There are many uh, already built component. We have to just use reuse this component. There are other feature like we can say they are write and drop support. It it is like integrated with the JS router for the routing navigating. It support the hybrid uh, hybrid build uh, to the to build the hybrid applications like for Android iOS. It supports uh, like Windows applications also. Qvision is compatible with the modern browsers like uh, browser Chrome, Firefox, Safari, uh, Opera also. So. so uh, if you are not aware about the code link, let me share with some thoughts or some features of the code link. Code link is modern, but it's already mature for already mature programming language aimed to make developers happier. It is safe, interoperable with the other languages, and provide the many ways to reuse the code between the multiple platforms for the productive programming. Like uh, we can write code with Kotlin, with JS, with Java also in the same code base. There we not required to, like if you are already built application with Java or JS, like, it is not like that we cannot write the our new features, new models with the Kotlin. Yes, we can absolutely write uh, or integrate Kotlin afterwards also. We use Kotlin for the web same as the we use in like mobile applications. Using Kotlin doesn't, doesn't mean that we are giving up on JS. They can work together, as I already told. KVJ, oh, sorry, Kotlin has the many features like the extension functions, smart class functions, data classes, core routines. So there is <laughs> there is also a large list of the features, but it is enough for us now. So uh, moving to the uh, code. Before that, I will show you the like what is application structure of the our KVision project. So here I have created uh, uh, main uh, directory, uh, main, main directory explanations code. So like here, like main directory is like Kotlin. It is consist of the source code files. It is like uh, uh, directory where we store or create our component, model classes and interface. Afterwards, like there is one test directory it is contain it contained all the uh, files for related to the uh, test ui test in test and the main is build out gradle file so if you are already uh, know or if you are already as android developer you know the uh, what is build out gradle it is all responsible for the building testing packaging applications here we declare all the required dependencies in the configuration file. We can modify dependency versions, modify dependency, remove dependency, which are not required, which is which is required for application. And here is one another is web, web directory. In that we can see one index.html. It is the base HTML file for our application. It contains the one root component which we will use in our one model. So it is the, it contain the root component of our applications. So let's deep dive in the one app.kt file, which is the main model in our application. So we, so you can see the app module extend the application class, which is the from the KVision. So every model needs to be extend from the application class, which is uh, we can find in a IO KVision package. And so uh, at the bottom up, we can see the uh, main, main, main function. So in that we can find a start application. It's, it is responsible for load the, uh, all the components for our projects. So here we have declared the app component and module dot hot is the by default component uh, used by the KVision for the hot uh, reloading. Like as I told like HMR, it is responsible for the HMR. Yeah, in the in application model, 
uh, once one start start or redone function it is like starting point of our module so in that we can find again root container it is the root comp root component tree tree which is inserted into the dom in the place of the selected html element so this tree is managed and rendered and replaced by the root container so this is our one um, deep dive in the app.kt module so let's see some differences uh, before moving to the, our code so here we can find the uh, difference between the kotlin and js uh, for loop uh, next is the same uh, difference between the when statement how uh, kotlin is like use the less code and also when statement have the many other features also where we can add the multiple conditions multiple data types of condition in the same case see the basic difference between style between the kvision and the our css same difference between the html and the kvision tags so let's move to the uh, code okay see i will show you the folder structure again so this is the our uh, project which i have already kill uh, build so let's uh, run this so okay it is actually running so i will show like what i have developed uh, using kvision so this is our meet kotlin website so, so in that we have fetched some la latest video from the, our channel and populated in a grid and one uh, video like added as the top we can play here directly and the same way we have uh, fetched the fetched the articles from the medium.com using the medium api so in that we can see the it is top 10 articles and here is one button like subscribe to the mate code link which navigate to the our, our channel and uh, allow us to the subscribe channel if not so let's switch to the code again so as i explained let's see the build out gradle file first without gradle file it is impossible to build our project so here you can see the plugins block here we have to add all the plugins required for our applications before that we have mentioned some versions some repository repositories for the way from here we will download our dependencies like maven control which is center we can also integrate our maven local maven also below that kotlin in kotlin block it is all configuration for the our deploy configurations and any other testing uh, frameworks also and here we can find the source set for the main 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 directory here we have added the main like, dependency which required for our development like i have added the toast test rest for the uh, rest client tools using the for, user for the api calling and below that coroutines for the asynchronous operation and below is one css uh, library for the for the external css uses and below are the like, source set for the test which is used for the artist uh, with this testing dependency so let's move those our uh, app.kt file so i will explain here like so see as i explained app is our module it is extended from the application and at the bottom the main function and in, in the main function this is like Mm, initialization of our kvision modules here i have declared the app module module load hot which is for hmr and core models it is the default module of the kvision the in app module i have declared some uh, observable uh, observable objects for the uh, setting the list of video list from the YouTube APIs article is from the medium.com and the rest line for the user for the API calling and the coroutine scope, which I will explain later. So see in in a block it is kind of constructor. When the app mode initiate it it gets called. So in that I have mentioned some 
required CSS in our for this module. So I have mentioned here created two functions for the load YouTube videos and load medium article. So these I have declared in a uh, call or we can say the call in a coroutine scope. So what is coroutine scope? So it is Kotlin uh, Kotlin code. So uh, it defines the scope for the new coroutine. So we can create or build coroutines in the coroutine scope. Here I use like launch. Launch is a coroutine builder. It launches the new coroutine concurrently with the rest of the code, which continue to work independently. There are many coroutine builder we use for depending on the case like async. I think in JavaScript we use a promise for the asynchronous operation. So once we get the result here, we set to the YouTube video list and in this YouTube video list bind to the our uh, grid component. Once it is updated, it automatically reflects in uh, our grid. So the same way, lo load medium article, for that I use the medium article EPA. Once we get the result, we set to the article list and automatically updated in the list view of the our article resources. So let's move to the our start function. So as I said, uh, root. Here is the root component, which is the responsible for uh, uh, rendering all the elements in, in our component. So here we have defined access. Uh, here we have defined the uh, ID KV application, which will available in the index.html file. I, as I said, it is the base index, uh, base base HTML file for our application. We have created here one new component, and all our code will be rendered in this component. So it is the root component of our application. So the main uh, body of our uh, start function is here. I have created one header. Main is all our code implementation is in a, a main body, and footer is for our. Uh, our application for that. So let's move to the main. So here I have declared some uh, labels as you have you have seen in uh, our website. There are some grid, one YouTube, here a separate layout, and below that as a list. So here I have created the one iframe of the loading the YouTube video, and below that just label for the videos, and I have created the grid of the YouTube video list. So here you can see I, I have created the simple banner in that I have bind the YouTube video list. Once YouTube video list updated, it uh, automatically updates here and populate in a grid card view. In the same way, below as I shown, it is the button for the subscribing our channel and below is the like article, article list. The same way, here is the simple panel bind it to the article list once list is updated it's automatically bind to the list view so oh, below that yeah, yeah, it is a footer part so i want to show you another thing like suppose we navigate to the list view so list view i have created one extension function here in that i uh, iterate the all the elements in uh, our list item and i created the one list row it is also extension function. I created the one list item. Uh, set the different CSS IDs to the, this item. We can access these IDs from the external libraries, or we can create our uh, CSS uh, external CSS in a uh, web 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 directory. Or also, we can create our KVGen styles also here. So you can see this is our list item. We are adding in a list view and we are populating in our uh, main simple banner. So this is our app.kt file. What, uh, okay, there is one C, this is one CSS file which I created uh, in a pure CSS, which I am, some, I am using some IDs from here, some CSS style sheets from here to our code. And other, all other, directories and file are like defaults file in our application and yeah, the HMR thing I will show you some HMR hot model replacement as it was commented later I will comment 
some footer part also so once i commented it you can see it start building again so after the build successful it will reflect in the code again see it started building we will check here it automatically reflects Oh, okay. You can see it automatically reflects and folder is invisible now. So this is an overview of our applications. So at the end, I, I want to show you one sample example already built by the KVGen creator. So this is the one showcase example. Here you can find all the components uh, so you can reuse it. like different HTML element, forms, buttons, backgrounds, content, different layouts, containers, windows, data vending themes, and background, drag and drop features. So, so it is get source of information you would like to explain if you want to start experiment using the KVision. You can, you can go through the some uh, Git repositories they are available. It, it will helpful for you to start development. So what next? So next thing that we can add are the test cases. Also we can develop the backend using the different frameworks in KVision also. You you may find simple codes. You can learn many different things using the showcase example also. I really think it is worth of checking the other content features of KVision, including, including the full support of the KVGen existing React component. I think this video has enough information to start development. I want you to try, what, try it once. Let me know your thoughts on this video and about the KVGen. Thanks for the watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye.